Hello, today we are going to transform this boring article into this animated article using Premiere Pro only. First, let's get some screenshot for the article. To take a screenshot in Windows, just hit Windows Shift plus S and then draw a rectangle over the area that you want a screenshot. After you make your screenshot, just click here and then hit Ctrl S to save it and save it to your PC. Let's take a screenshot for this text. If you want to use this photo, you can use it just by right clicking on the photo then hit save image as. We need a sequence and drag your photos to the timeline. Now drag this paper overlay that you will find a link in the description or you can search on YouTube and download like you want. Drag it here on the first track. Choose the screenshots, hit Alt, Up Arrow to move it up. And drag this paper overlay here and go to the beginning of the timeline. Go to the Effects panel. If you can see it, just go to Window, then Effects. And search for Ultra Key and just drag it onto your first screenshot. Then go to Effects Controls, choose the eyedropper from Key Color and choose this white color. Go to Mad Generation and play with, with, the, and play with these settings till you get the result you want and then just copy the ultra key by hitting ctrl c on effects controls and paste it on the second photo also in effects control and like you see the background is already deleted now click here on motion and drag this right here then go to effects and search for crop and drag it to your screenshots scroll down use the crop effect and crop this area so we have the title only. Now hit Alt and swipe this layer up to duplicate it. Choose this layer, scroll down, choose Crop and keep this area here. Now let's go to Effects and search for, for an effect called Time and drag it on the first and drag it on the first layer. Go to Effects Control, scroll down and choose Map Black to White. Just copy the effect, choose both layers, hit Control Shift V to paste the effect on. Like you see, we have a white background. If this line appears here, you can use a crop effect, can use a crop effect and try to remove it. Now let's position the New York Times logo here. Put a keyframe on position, move the keyframe forward and drag the text up till you hide it. Now click here on this small arrow, then select the second keyframe, the temporal interpolation is in and the first keyframe is out. We can play with this handle here till we get the animation that we want. Now let's drag these layers here. Now let's create the reveal animation for the title. Let's go to effects and search for crop. And drag it to the layer by double clicking on it. And search for transform and drag the transform effect also. Create a keyframe on position, move it forward and drag it here. Now let's drag the crop effect beneath the transform effect. Now let's ease this animation. Now let's copy the transform and crop effect and paste it here. Like you see, we also have this little crop reveal animation for the subtitle. By decreasing the opacity 30%. Now let's drag the Elon Musk photo. Now let's search drop shadow effect. Drag it to the photo. Choose a red color. Make opacity 100. Now let's hit here on position keyframe. Move backward and hide the Elon Musk photo. Again, choose the Elon Musk photo. Create a keyframe and move it here. Now you can take more text from the article and drag it to your timeline. Just copy all the effects that we have used. Ultra key, tin, crop and also transform. Now go to your project panel. Click here on you. Then choose black video and hit OK. Drag your black video here. Go to effects controls. Drag the tint effect and map the black to white. Then again use crop and just animate it using the crop effects. From right, swap between the keyframes. Now let's animate this screenshot just like this. Now go to your projects panel. Create a new adjustment layer and drag it above your layers. Go to effects and search for transform again. Drag it the transform effect. The adjustment layer. Go to position and scale, move forward and just scale it a little bit, like 110. But just don't forget to drag the New York Times logo above the adjustment layers so it doesn't hide like this. Now let's ease the animation out. Now choose all your layers, then right click, then choose net and hit OK and go to effects and drag the Gaussian blur to your layer. Go to effect controls, create on Create a keyframe on blurriness, move forward and drag it up. Then move forward and make it zero. 
Now let's create the highlight effect. Just choose the rectangle and draw the area that you want to highlight under the crop effect. Go to effects controls, put a keyframe on right, make it 100. Then is the animation. Now go to blend mode and make it screen or lighten. Now let's return to our main sequence. Hit Ctrl K to show the sequence settings. Go to settings and then change the frame rate to 12.